lot this spring about changing the culture and the decisions that the players make. Um, how did you feel that some of those decisions played out today? And um, are you taking steps and moving in that direction that you'd like to see them? Yeah, I, I think the one major goal uh, from us coming into spring practice was to learn how to practice. And I think through 15 opportunities, we definitely did that. I hope uh, the people here that have seen previous teams have seen uh, a change in physicality, a change in effort, and a, a change in you know, just the ability to, to love each other, to play for each other, to put yourself aside and play for the guy next to you. And I, I really do believe we, you, you've never arrived by, by any stretch, but I, I think the message is loud and clear and I think the guys are really, really trying to live that culture every day and it, it's been been fun to watch. Tom, uh, you know, obviously these spring games don't really mean everything, but what can you take from these sort of performances and take from this kind of game and that compared to football? Nothing. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's it's just another practice. I mean, we're, we're going to grade it uh, the same way we grade any practice, any scrimmage. And I, I say nothing, I'm obviously joking. Every day matters and every rep matters. But to say that this day was more important than Thursday, that, that, that's not true. Uh, this day was, had the same importance as, as any day in our program. And that is when you, when you come to work, when you come, we only get them four hours a day for 20 hours a week during spring ball. In the off season, only eight hours a week. And so when, when, when they walk in this building, I think the, the culture has, be, has begun to form where they understand the urgency, the attention to detail, and really just the, the level of intensity that's necessary every single day when you come in uh, to prepare yourself for a championship. Now, it, you could certainly come in and not be as intense or I intentional and not stay and, and do the extra stuff, and, and that's fine. That, that's, but that's what average teams do. And, you know, the good thing around here is, you know, Albert Einstein defined it very um, succinctly. The definition of insanity is repeatedly performing the same act, expecting different results. And so after two years of five and seven, I think these guys are ready for change and they're, they're ready to do things differently. There's some that uh, were hesitant, but I think we've got most of our guys really believing in, in the way that we do things. Hey coach, let me take this question slightly off the football field where you could ride away with the final four where a lot of people got Florida Atlantic in the national realm. So how do you much would you ride the momentum of the positive publicity you get in an effort to bolster football recruiting, knowing that this is not only a basketball school, but a potentially a good football school, and you're stepping up in conference as well? I didn't know we were officially a basketball school yet. Well, no, I'm just saying, but the riding the way of the momentum of yes. the Final Four, that's where I was going by. I, I know. No, it was great. It was fantastic. I, I cannot tell you the amount of excitement our guys had for the run that, that our basketball team had and to be there for the Elite Eight game and the, the Final Four was a, a really special experience for me and my family. But also, I think it was a great example to our team that this is real, guys. Like, going to New Year's Six games, you know, 12 team playoff, uh, playing for uh, an opportunity to play in the playoffs, winning conference championships, that is real. And that is attainable at FAU, one of the most beautiful campuses on earth, uh, you know, located right here in paradise. It, it is something that can absolutely be done here. And I think our guys not only are 
proud of our basketball team, as am I, but I think they've learned a lot and, and have kind of taken it as a challenge isn't the right word, but they, they understand, okay, that the bar has been set for athletics around here. And, uh, you know, those guys got to put on those black t-shirts and hats and do confetti snow angels and, and all that stuff. And uh, in order to do that, we, we've got to, uh, you know, grind every day. We've got to play for each other. And I think those guys not only realize it's attainable, but they, they also look and say, Oof, okay, we got some work to do. Well, you're smart enough to know it can only enhance recruiting anyways. Oh, yeah. Re recruit any, any publicity is good publicity, right? And, and when you're going to the Final Four as a nine seed from FAU, uh, formerly in Conference USA, now in the American Conference, uh, you know, that go ask our admissions department how much uh, admissions has gone up and yeah. go ask the bookstore how much gear has been bought uh, more than in March's past or April's past. And so it just really enhances the entire university, the, the public perception of our university and, you know, certainly helps uh, monetarily with all, all the money uh, that is generated from such a deep, you know, run in the NCAA tournament. Coach, you saw Game Rich put up a great performance with his three-pack passing. What's that? I'm sorry. Uh, you saw Game Richardson put up a great performance with his three-pack passing touchdowns. What are your thoughts on how he and the other quarterbacks played today? I thought all the, all the quarterbacks played well. I really did. Uh, Daniel uh, was fortunate. He, he found the open guy. Uh, and, you know, again, I think playing quarterback is, uh, is a lot, not, not just a lot. It's almost everything about it is taking what the defense gives you. We can't call the defensive plays. We can't even guess. We can um, – game plan and we can have um, probabilities, but at the end of the day, when the ball is snapped, you've got to play what the defense gives you. And I, I think Daniel did a really good job of that, of finding the open guy, finding uh, his read in terms of what the defense dictated. But I thought Ben and Tyreek, excuse me, Ben and Tyreek really, really played well um, themselves. And so, uh, we're, this is going to be a, a fun summer. I think it'll be very competitive in that room. But I think, like Daniel said, those guys really, really enjoy being around each other. You know, Mike Johnson will be thrown in that fray in the fall. And so, but they, they're friends. They compete. Trust me. They, 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 they all want to be the starter. They all do. But I think the really cool thing is when you hear – them coaching each other and they want to be the starter but they also know that if they can help the guy next to them get better that they're going to do it and it's been really I've been a lot around a lot of quarterback rooms and this is about as good a one as I've, I've been around. Coach, it seemed like that the, the running backs found a lot of open holes I know the offensive line had hard to do with that but guys like uh, with Hammond and Mobley and Kobe, it seemed like they really just kind of stepped up the impact off of the running back a little bit. I, I have been very, very, very happy with the ability and depth at that position for us. Uh, um, to have three guys like that in that room that could probably go play anywhere in the country is a blessing. And they're all great young men. They're all really, really hard workers. Uh, Kobe's, you know, kind of the elder statesman, so he's a, a bit of a leader in that room. But man, I, I've never, I've never been around. I mean, we we had Bijan and Roshan uh, and Keontae Ingram at Texas a few years ago. That that was a pretty, pretty good one, two, three punch. Uh, but this one's pretty special too, and. For those three guys, and I think they all realize that in this day and age, you know, th those guys, as, as much as they want to be leaders and as much as they want to be the focal point, they also know that 
for their long-term durability, it's good to have a, a guy or two that can come in and take some of the load off you because, you know, I, I believe that, you know, God only puts, puts a certain amount of carries on every running back. And so we've got to be judicious with those carries, the types of carries for each guy, but having the ability to, to spread the wealth over three different guys at that position, uh, we're, we're, we're very fortunate. Tom, uh, right here. Uh, uh Hester, and Omar Hayes have a couple of them good plays. What have you seen from them throughout camp and what they add to that wide receiver? Uh, they're fun to be around. Those guys have tons of personality and you know, they, they just keep getting better every practice, every day. This was obviously the most production they've had thus far. And I think part of that was because, you know, we are so deep at wide receiver that the opportunities have been you know, few and far uh, between for those two guys, but they've made the most of them. And then today, when they had the opportunity to, to play whatever it was, 40, 50, 60 snaps, uh, they made the most of it then too. So th those guys are getting better every day and they're, they're definitely going to help us this year. Coach, for you who have been a part of multiple spring uh, spring uh, seasons, from when you played in D3 to coaching all the way at D1. Why did you have to remind me of that? <laughs> we didn't even have spring ball in Division Three. I, I didn't either, so I understand yeah. that. I was working. To pay my pay to yeah. I'm not in the cafeteria. So you understand what it's like on all levels. If you had to give this team a grade of oh, how they geez. performed in, in spring, what would you give and why? Man, I, we are such a work in progress. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. There, there have been days when there's A's. And there's been days that were F minuses. <laughs> um, so I, I think it'd be unfair right now. I understand the question, but I enjoy being around this team. That's what's important to me. I really, really like being around these guys. I like being around their work ethic. I like being around their drive. I like being around their, um, their intensity. These guys love football. They really, really love football. And they've got a lot to learn, but we've got a lot to teach them, too. And that's our job. We're just really high-paid teachers. And that's our job. And to, to give them a grade at this point, I think, would be unfair. But to if you want me to tell you whether I thought the, the spring season was a success or not, the answer is yes. Uh, I, I was extremely happy with the progress that we made, the cultural shift in the locker room and on the practice field, and then just the, the amount of buy-in from so many of these guys. And I, I, I can't wait to, I, I'm, I'm almost, I'm, I'm a little sad that, you know, I don't, we don't have a practice on Tuesday. <laughs> you know, I, I wanna get back out on the field with these guys again, but they'll be in the weight room Monday and, uh, We'll give them a little time off in May and get right back at it in June. So, but very, very, very happy with the trajectory that that we're on. Richard, last one. Uh, you saw a bunch of recruits show up for this weekend. What's the type? What's the impression you were hoping to leave on them as the spring football comes to a close? Well, I think the the biggest thing, especially for local kids, I've made the point and I'll say it again. Anytime I'm in front of a camera. We need to make sure that the young men, especially from Dade, Broward, and Palm Beach County, understand that we are their hometown Division I college football team, and we want them to take a lot of pride in that, take a lot of pride in staying at home, uh, or at least close to home, and playing around their family, their friends, and really making a national name uh, for FAU, much like our, our basketball team did, but uh, with local guys. And, you know, we, we, we did uh, something very similar at the University of Houston, and we're planning on doing it again here. And, but I think the really cool part is that outside of those three counties, which is obviously our, our focus, 
But throughout the state of Florida, the reception, the attractiveness to these young recruits from our school, our location, the quality of education, the program that we're building, I think it has really resonated, not just in the Tri-County area, but uh, across the state. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.